Yo, what is up guys, and Mikey A31 here, NCAA 14, Notre Dame Dynasty, we're in year four, and we're starting to crank up the second half of the season now, we're coming off a of bye week, here's the schedule, we got Navy this week, he checks in at six and one, and you see that we're back at number two, after beating Stanford, and then after the bye week, We've gone from five to three to two, so we're back in the mix. Navy, Purdue, and then the bye week, and then we have Maryland and USC after that. Take a look at the top 25 poll and some stats. BCS poll is out, and you see USC at 8-0. Sam Darnold is still in college, y'all, <laughs> which is just crazy. But there you go. And we're at number um, two. Oklahoma is right behind. Then you have Ohio State, Miami, Auburn, Michigan State, Florida State, Washington, Wisconsin, Bama. Bama lost to Tennessee. Stanford. Western Kentucky is undefeated at 7 0. Curious to see how far they can keep on going. Florida's at 14, beating Georgia. Clemson at 15, Texas, Pitt, UCLA, Tennessee at 4 and 4. What a weird season they're having. Vandy, Nebraska, Virginia Tech, Georgia, Oregon, and Maryland. Right out the BCS top 25. In the Heisman watch. Jimmy Oliver is still in the lead. It's a um, running back dominated year with uh, Sam Donald and DeAndre Francois in contention too. He's having a big year. Averaging 60 yards per carry. He's got 14 TDs and 1,074 yards of rushing as you see there. Good player, 88 overall, redshirt, freshman, redshirt, freshman, redshirt, 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 sophomore, speedy dude. Running behind a great offensive line and reaping the benefits for that. Looking at some stats. Brandon Wimbush, 19 TDs, 12 INTs. And in our spread to run offense here, Alex Berry is such an interesting guy. True freshman, one of these two player or two player, two way athletes. He's a corner with running back and receiving skills. He hasn't played much defense this year. So he basically, um, here's his, you know, defensive stats. He's got 70 catching, which isn't great, obviously. He doesn't really run a whole heck of a lot as far as what's on the, um, Route tree is concerned, mainly bubble screens, a shallow cross, and some um, mid screens here and there. But he basically fills the um, Percy Harvin role. He runs jet sweeps, he runs um, motion isos, he's the motion dive man sometimes, and triple and double options. He's basically that um, pivot player as well as our um, kick returner. He's got 98 speed with 96 acceleration. He's got 93 elusiveness, 92 spin move, and 95 juke move with 80 carrying. And 70 catching. And 88 jumping. I mean, the guy is just an athletic freak. And since we're so deep at corner, he's playing a lot on a lot on the offensive side of the ball. Next season with um, Ash and White moving on, and depending on how these guys progress, he'll probably play more on defense. But for now, he's basically a um, pivot player, a flex player in our spread and our return man, and he's just doing all kinds of work.
He's averaging 11 yards per carry. Got a couple of touchdowns. He's averaging 10 yards a reception, and he's got a touchdown receiving. And he's also got a um, kick return for a touchdown. Averaging 27 yards per pop and over 10 yards per, you know, punt return. Receiving Miles Boykin leads the way. Joel Anson not really doing all that much this season. Finky and Claypool getting most of the uh, touchdowns in the slot there. Miles Boykin hasn't been turning it on pretty lately. And... Don Devon leads a team in tackles, and he's got 11 tackles for a loss. Jerome Baker, the uh, transfer from Ohio State. He's got six sacks and 13 tackles for a loss. He had to sit out the 14 season and rode the bench last year. He's a 94 overall, 90 speed. He's got 89 tackle, 88 block shed, 77 in zone coverage, 92 pursuit. And 95 hit power. So he can bring the lumber. He's got two forced fumbles. Asmar Bilal has four. He's got four sacks, 11 tackles for loss. Jonathan Jones has six, as well as Khalid Kareem. Getting pass rush from a lot of sources. And Ashen White has five INTs. So let's go. Let's take care of business versus Navy. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams take pride in their smash mouth running philosophy. And as a defensive player, you can spend all of the time you want in the tape room, but these two teams aren't trying to fool you. They're trying to hit you right in the schnoz. Standing in there and enduring that physicality, and not only enduring it, but matching it is a key if you want to have a chance to stop these rushing attacks. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. an intense college football game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. Notre Dame has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. All right, let's go. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Oops, I almost got to cover the pitch, man. Decent run here, right side. 
This is so difficult to defend. This is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first round. From their own 48-yard line, first down. All right, come on. There we go. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That'll bring up second and 12. All right, that's what we want. From the 48-yard line, it's third down. Come on, tackle. There we go. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. Fourth and six. Oliver's a guy that's been so difficult to rattle, whether he's at home or on the road. He's played well no matter where he's played. And now here he is, first time on the field today, and I think it's the defensive coordinators that are looking at it going, whoa, what's he going to do? Yeah, you and I talked with the defensive coordinator getting ready for this game, and I think he's really spent some sleepless nights this week getting ready to face him. I, I think he's, he feels that not only is he going to challenge him because of his, his abilities to make plays, but because of his ability to just kind of block out all the distractions. I, this is going to be a big-time challenge for this defense, and we'll see if they're ready to step up and, and try to get in his face and slow him down. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Oh. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. All right, let's go. And he hits him hard at the 36. Turn away. Just beat him up out front. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Ah, ah. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing it. Go. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. That should be the theme all game. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Buckeyes were ranked number five. The W they hope will keep them there. And for Penn State, they've now dropped three in a row. The Buckeyes get the win, 14-7. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Oh, come on. And they might be coming with a blitz here. He might have a chance. Pitch man, people. Come on. There we go. Big loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create got, negative yards. I'm going to have to try. Jeez. Passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Wow, someone got pancaked. At about the 41. Oliver gets eight yards on the play. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Notre Dame.
Whoa. Okay. They blitz both corners of the edge. There we go. That's better. Every single play. I got to be aware of the dive. Got to be aware of making sure that either the pitch man or the quarterback is covered. Just got to do my job. in the throwing situations. There would have been no one else there if I missed that tackle. He's taken down. Just like that. <laughs> Connect the whole way. Notre Dame is up by a touchdown. On the run. Out of there. Nice yeah, decent look for the jet sweep there. Blocks held. Almost bounced out. Well, could have gotten a better block there by the slot. And we'll take a break. Ooh, Ooh injury. <laughs> Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. Come on now. A sloppy here with ball it's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, yeah, it went out of bounds. Don't be putting the ball on the freaking floor. Catches it, and that's all. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. Nice. What a blitz. There was no one there, and he just quickly got off the line, and no false steps, no ghost steps against defenders that don't exist, and made himself free. Whoa, how'd that happen? That time the defense brought the blitz, and I think it confused the offensive line. It's one thing to pick up the blitz, but you also have to be accountable for the defensive lineman, and that time the lineman got to the quarterback. And that ain't good. The rest of this one. Once it all. Go, 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 go. Oh, hang on to the ball. Super play to time the hit just right. That was six. Williams gains around seven. Pretty good looking option play there. Pitch out, got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 40 yard line. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there. Jeez. Around the 50 yard line. There we go. He's tackled around the 48 yard line. And the defense just swarmed over him. Just got to keep that pitch man under control. Dive, I'm not too worried about. Quarterback, I'm not too worried about. Just got to be there for the pitch. That's their first of the half. Here we go. And he almost. There we go. Throws complete. Come on, let's go. Call it a gain of seven yards. Third down. Fires 
Stinky. There you go. Hang on to the ball. Short pass, middle of the field. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Tempo, tempo, tempo. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Press break. Let's go, Miles. Brought down. What's it's this? Well. Flag down, and I'm not sure when this it was, was thrown. Off. Let's find out. Ah. Damn it. So there we go. He throws right. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. That's the danger of playing cover six to the field with a deep half safety to the field. That's an awful lot of uh, acreage. And he got caught on the hash. So they're going to try to determine if the oh, he's in. possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. 14-0, Fighting Irish. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, Got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Wow. Alex Berry got jackknifed. Jeez. <laughs> oh, gosh. What that one? First down. Excellent open field tackle. Gain of 15 yards. Throws it. Yes, indeed. He's taken Get a price. That's good for a gain of 21 yards. First down. Picked it up. Got a. Got away from the press, and boom! No one else there. Nice Got a nice little cutback lane there. Oh, let's go. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. Perfect. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Right, come on. Ah, uh, come on, Stefferson, hang on. Super play to time the hit just right on what looked like a sure touchdown. He gets it up, and it sails through the air. Uh, gotta do better, guys. Tackle after a decent run out of the gut. All right, keep him down, keep him down. There we go, penetrate. Asmar Bilal. And he 
he's tackled at the 44-yard line. They're actually doing a pretty decent job against the um, Heisman front runner here. Yeah, they brought everyone to the line there. Didn't blitz, though. Go, 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 go. And he is drilled to 39 yard line. Be a block. Ah, I tried to make a move, but my controller failed. That's a team of 17. That makes it first and 10. Like right here. Didn't get what I wanted. Nice. Ooh. Stay up, big fella. Good target, really anywhere on the field. There we go. Rare touchdown pass to the tight end this season. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in a game like this. No, 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 no. Come on, big fellas, time to eat. They should not be able to throw with much of any success. Either going to be go or choice. He airs it out. Dropped. Hammer down. Notre Dame's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable... Domination, statistically. Defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Boom, just defeated the face. Ah, uh, blitz here, maybe. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes. The 36-yard line. Not quite. Fires. Nice. They'll bring him down at the 18. Gain of 10 yards. Throw it. He wouldn't throw the ball. I'm pressing triangle for the out route. Oh my gosh. Horrible job there, Lyman. Jeez. That is irritating. Get in there. Thank you. Drop it, drop, drop. Oh, come on now. Good Lord. Gains his way to the 19 yard line. All right, little Bucks feet action. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time. All right, let's get a nice even 30 on the board and call it a day. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and he's got it. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Terrapins had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Well, Maryland staying at top 25 was brief. That didn't last long. And for Wake Forest, time running out. Clock winding down. One last chance, and they score. Oregon, USC, it's a big game. By a couple. In other action, the Spartans came into the game ranked ninth. After the yeah, Michigan, Michigan loss, bombs Michigan State. Jeez. Move them down. So you went into this game thinking it was going to be an easy W? Better think again. We've got an upset brewing. And for Matt. All right, that's it. Put a big fat donut on him.
30 to nothing. If they had more talent, they would have done better. I mean, they had some moments where they moved the ball on um, speed and triple options. But, you know, we're just way, way better than they are. They need to execute better. They had it the ball, they had no chance. Good clean game for Mr. Winbush. Running game did not impose its will as I would have liked. What can you do? That will happen sometimes. I got sacked twice. One was not really. Well, neither one was really my fault. I mean, somehow I got sacked on a play action uh, bubble screen, and then on the play action inverted veer, game just would not let me release the ball. Receivers got it done. Asmar Bilal doing Asmar Bilal's things. Got a couple of sacks. Jonathan Jones with three tackles for loss. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine tackles for loss for the game. Three hundred and seventy nine yards of total offense to hundred and fourteen. They were five and eleven for thirteen yards passing. <laughs> that ain't gonna get it done. Not gonna get it done. The goal here now is just to hang on to the number two spot so we'll have an opportunity to play for another national title. Clemson won't be in the picture, so I'm curious to see who will be playing. You know, assuming that we hold our end of the bargain. You know, go back to the schedule. We got Purdue at four and three. Well, pending the results of this week's games, another bye week, then Maryland, and then USC. Maryland won't be ranked anymore. They're 4-4. Four and four. So USC had Oregon this week, so if they win, they'll obviously stay with number one. And there you have it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in once again, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.